Let's do a few more examples from the orders of magnitude exercise. Earth is approximately 1 times 10 to the 7th meters in diameter. Which of the following could be Earth's diameter? So this is just an approximation. It's an estimate. And they're saying which of these, if I wanted to estimate it, would be close or would be 1 times 10 to the 7th. And the key here is to realize that 1 times 10 to the 7th, 1 times 10 to the 7th, is the same thing as 1 followed by 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me put some commas here so we make it a little bit more readable. Or another way of, of, of talking about it is it, it is 1 times 10 to the 7th is the same thing as 10 million. So which of these, if we were to really roughly estimate, we would go to 10 million? Well, this right over here is 1.271 million, or 1,271,543. If I were to really roughly estimate it, I might go to 1 million, but I'm not going to go to 10 million, so I'd, I'd rule that out. This is 12,715,430. If I were to roughly estimate this, well, yeah, I would go to 10 million. 10 million is if I were to just, if I wanted really just like one digit to represent it, if I were to write this in scientific notation, this right over here, this right over here is 1.271543 times 10 to the seventh. Let me write that down. 12,715,430. If I were to write this in scientific notation, is 1.271543 times 10 to the seventh. And when you write it this way, you say, hey, well, yeah, if I was to really estimate this and get pretty rough with it and I just rounded this down, I would make this 1 times 10 to the seventh. So this really does look like our best choice. Now let me just verify. Well, this right over here, if I were to round it, I'd go to 100 million or 1 times 10 to the eighth. That's way too big. And this, if I were to round it, I'd go to a billion or 1 times 10 to the ninth. So that's also too big. So once again, this feels like the best answer. Now let's try a couple more. So here we're asked, how many times larger is 7 times 10 to the fifth than 1 times 10 to the fourth? Well, we could just divide to think about that. So 7 times 10 to the fifth divided by 1 times 10 to the fourth. Well, this is the same thing as 7 over 1 times 10 to the fifth over 10 to the fourth, which is just going to be equal to, well, 7 divided by 1 is 7. And 10 to the fifth. That's that's 10 being or multiplying five tens, and then this is, and then you're dividing by four tens. So you're gonna have one ten left over. Or if you remember your exponent properties, this would be the same thing as 10 to the five minus four power or 10 to the first power. So this right over here, all of this business, all of this business is going to simplify to 10 to the first. Or I could actually write it this way. This would be the same thing as 10 to the 5 minus 4, which is equal to 10 to the 1, which is just equal to 10. So this is 7 times 10, which is equal to 70. So 7 times 10 to the fifth is 70 times, 70 times larger than 1 times 10 to the fourth. Let's do one more. So here they're asking us 3 times 10 to the ninth is 30,000 times larger than what number? So once again, we can divide. So we have 3 times 10 to the ninth. 3 times 10 to the ninth is 30,000 times larger than what number? So let's just divide by 30,000 and see what we get. And here we've written something in, in kind of a exponential notation, or we should say scientific notation, actually. And here we just wrote, wrote the number out. So one way we could do it is we could either write this number out and then divide, or we could write this in scientific notation. So let's do it either way. So if we were to write, if we were to expand the top number out, if we were to expand this out, we could write that as 3 followed by 9 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let me put some commas here to make it readable. And then we're dividing that by 3 followed by 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we could cancel out the zeros. We could say, OK, let's divide the top and the bottom by 10. Let's divide it by another 10, by another 10, by another 10. And then, let's see, we've done all the dividing by 10. And now let's divide the top and the bottom by 3. So this would become a 1, and this would become a 1. So on the bottom, we're just left with a 1. And we'd have 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So this would be 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, or 100,000. Now let's write it bo both of these in, in scientific notation. 
So 3 times 10 to the 9th, I'm just going to rewrite that as 3 times 10 to the 9th. And we're dividing that by 30,000, which is the exact same thing as 3 times 10 to the, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros here. One, 3 times 10 to the 4th. Or I guess I really should say we have 4 places after the 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So ten, 3 times 10 to the 4th. And so we could divide the 3 by the 3. And then that will simplify. So 3 divided by 3 is just 1. And then 10 to the 9th divided by 10 to the 4th. Well, that's going to be 10 to the 9 minus 4, 10 to the 5th. So it's going to be 1 times 10 to the 5th, which once again is 1 followed by 5 zeros, or the exact same thing as 100,000. So it's 30,000 times larger than 100,000.